to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's pusha okay look they took you as a game that was until you showed them how to really play like you they they, they played with you long enough like and now you see, they don't really play them games with you, Gumbo. They found somebody else to play with. You had to show them how to play their own game. You beat them at their own game. So now they got to take that elsewhere because they are defeated. You have won. You won a game that you didn't even know that you was participating in. You won a game that they were playing and you didn't even know like that it was a game until... You finally one day just seen it for what it was, but it took a little while. Someone took you as a game until you showed them how to really play. You, I would just say like you something else, okay? You something else because you did that. You did that and you didn't fold. See, that's the thing. They wanted you to fold. They wanted you to fold up under pressure. They put you under so much pressure that they just knew that you would be down on your knees begging them please, okay? <laughs> they thought that you would be down on your knees begging them please, that you would just abide to whatever it is that they wanted. But no, you took it the cool, calm, and collective way. You took it the subtle way. You handled it behind closed doors, they didn't even know that you knew that it was a game being played. That's how slick you are with it. They took you as a game, but you showed them how to really play. You like, okay, if you want to play, let me show you how it's really done. Let me show you how it was really done. You like, you knocked them off the board. You knocked them off the board. They don't know what to do now. You showed them how to play their game. You was, but you were so smooth with it. <laughs> you were so smooth with it. You handled that. You did that. You handled it. And now, where are they at? They're cut off. And they're wondering why, because you never came to them and confronted them. Cause you didn't feel you uh you didn't feel that you need you needed to that you had to, like that was their last straw, that was the last straw for them, so it was no point of being all extra. It was no point of turning up. Like you have removed the emotions that you once had attached to this connection. You removed all of the emotions, so now it's all logical. You played the game very strategic. You let them have it. They were having their way. They just knew that they were going to win. Boom, you came in and you showed them how it's really done. They never seen it coming. They never seen it coming because they had it all laid out. They wrote out the rules for the game. They were expecting you to follow the rules based off of other circumstances, based, based off of other situations where they played with other people. But where they got you wrong, where they got you messed up is not knowing that you not other people, you not like everybody else. So you handled, Joseph, you handled the situation totally different than how others would have handled the situation. You played your cards like, like you didn't have this plan forever and you didn't even know. You took what you had and you said, okay, <laughs> this is what we doing here. Well, this is what I'm doing here. You disinvolved them. You got them out the picture. They don't mean anything anymore. And that's where they're confused because they're like, well, I once did mean something. I once was important. 
but you got to see them for who they are. So now they're no longer important to you. You maybe did once love them. You maybe did once care about them. And now they're just like any old other person in the street that you don't know. And matter of fact, they some of them, they can barely even get a hello from you. They can barely get a hi, barely get an eye contact. That's how bad they messed up. And you're not taking it personal. Because you know that they, this is what they do. This is what they do. This is their hobby. This is what they do in their free time. They like to play with people. They like to run games. They like to try to wrap people around their finger. They like to run people in circles. But you, <laughs> you threw them for a loop. You threw them for a loop. And they never would have suspected it. <laughs> they never expected it. They never seen it coming. Because they thought that they knew what type of person that you was. They thought that based off of the past and times where they may have been able to play with you. Times where you were asleep to what was going on. They thought that you were still in that energy. But they didn't know that you have evolved beyond that. You not no people pleaser. You not no yes man. You have evolved. And one thing for sure, you're not going to let them get to you in the ways in which they want to get to you. They failed at their own game. They, they played with you and they played long enough. It didn't take much. You didn't have to do much. You didn't have to do much. Like, you, you, you spread your hand, boom. And left them clueless, left them shocked. Put them back on the drawing board. They went back to the drawing board after that. And they've been there for a while. They have. They've tried little things. They tried to play with you a little more. But for real, for real, they don't even have access to you. They don't even have access to you anymore. They know they can't call you. They know they can't text you. They can't come to your house. They can't come to your events. They know that. They know they messed up, right? <laughs> and if they don't, somebody tell them, them people that they messed up. They didn't mess up trying to play with you. Thinking that you were some type of toy. You not a toy. You got feelings too. You living this human experience too. They thought that they can play games with you. And that you wouldn't notice. They thought that they can play games with you. And that you wouldn't stand up for yourself. Because others haven't stood up for you. There's been times where others haven't stood up for you. But the moment when you stood up for yourself, they didn't have anything else coming. They don't know what else to do. They played and they played and they played until they couldn't play no more. Until you didn't accept it no more. They may be, it may be, have been a time where you didn't know your worth. You didn't know your value. And you let them do certain things or say certain things to you. Not anymore. Oh, they don't have anything coming. Not nan, nothing. They play with you until you show them how the game is really played. They are shocked. <laughs> They are applaud. They they like what? They're stuck. They're stuck. They're trying to figure out how can they reverse this? How can they get out of this? They feel like it's nowhere to turn. They feel like they're in a maze that has no exit. They thought that they seen the end of the tunnel. They thought that they was seeing the end of the maze. They thought that like this game was going to be won by them they thought that they were going to get the badge the trophy but they didn't you came out on top you came out with the trophy like you came out with peace 
you came out sane. You came out with your sanity. They can't believe it. They can't believe it. Their plan failed. They thought that they can play with you. They thought that they had some type of power when it comes to you in your life. But they had another thing coming. They had another thing coming. They never expected it to go this way. But guess what? They had took it too far. Like they had done little things before. Okay. Because of who they are. Maybe I give them a pass. Okay. But they really showed their hand. Like their mask really fell off. It fell off. And you like, what? I never, like you never even knew that they had it in them for real. You never knew that they was that type of person. Because they did a really good job of hiding it. They had a, they did a really good job of masking their true self and their true identity. They thought that they can play with you. But they had another thing coming. So now they're off somewhere playing with others because you're not the one. But they learned. They learned real quick. You're not the one to be played with. You're not. Karma came for them. <laughs> Karma came knocking at their door. They didn't know that God didn't play about you. They didn't know that. You was cool, calm, and collective. You said you got a whole team that's going to handle that for you. You're not going to even give them the satisfactory of confronting them. Or if you did, you you did that and you let it go. They thought that you would be chasing them. They thought that by now you would be back in their life. They thought that by now you would be somewhere abiding by them. They want you to abide by them so bad. It ain't happening. The games are over. <laughs> you done messed around and woke up. You done messed around and woke up to what this really is. To what's been going on all along. They ain't got nothing coming out. No. So now they're still trying to figure out, well, what do they do next? How can they get they, How can they get you back to where they once had you? How can they get you back to where they need you? They can't. That's the thing. They can't. It's over with. <laughs> it's over with so if this video resonate if it hit different let me know how so if you are new here i do invite you to hit that subscribe button look i it's a new day i got a new bag for y'all okay uh, we do have a limited amount of spaces i have four hundred dollars this is like it's real <laughs> it's real i got four hundred dollars waiting for you so the first one is if you open up a qualified Chase banking account, you can do it 100% online, y'all. Use the link down in my description box to make sure that you get your $300 from Chase. And then if you haven't already, I know um, a nice amount of you have already gotten your $100 from Chime. But if you don't have a Chime account, go ahead and sign up with a qualified uh, Chime account and get your $100. Okay. The holiday season is creeping up on us. And I understand that it's a very sad time for a lot of people. It's a very depressing time because not only do you have to pay your bills, you have to worry about how you're going to uh, go all out feeding your family and how you're going to go all out uh, buying gifts. Now, some of us, we don't celebrate the holidays in that way. So we okay. But I don't know about y'all. I like a little extra spending money to just splurge and do what it is that I want to do. So if you want to splurge and do what it is that you want to do, click the link down in my description box and get you some money, okay? <laughs> that is all I have for this video. Stay spiritually you, stay spiritually in tune, and I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.